So last night I created this track idea, uploaded a video and I've had some great responses on it. Now this has turned out to be a bit of a Larry Heard style vibe and it wasn't deliberate, it was more a case of the mood of the the kind of me working on my own and being in the dark with the lights and stuff it gave it that kind of atmosphere so sometimes tracks manifest themselves according to the mood that you're in this was certainly the case so on this video what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you on a behind the scenes look at the components used to create the track and I'll show you the bass sound design as well because I created a patch especially for the track in Massive so we'll take a look at that and I'll make it available for you to download as well so the key to this particular track was that I used the Able Ableton Live template created by Native Instruments for Machine. This is remote controlling Ableton Live. The transport controls also, when I'm in the machine mode, actually remote control live and everything syncs together beautifully. So what we'll do is we'll take a look. Let's have a little refresher in terms of what the track sounds like. So a mixture of machine, also three instances of the Korg M1, and then an instance of Massive. So a real simple construction at the moment. Let's take a look at the machine component. So Shift plus Control, we're gonna switch into machine mode. The other thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring up the interface so we can see what's going on here. So let's bring that to the foreground. Now, got a bunch of stuff on here. I've got two kits. One is a kit of some drum sounds, another one is a conga kit. So let's have a look at the beats first of all. I'm gonna solo, let's play. I'm gonna unmute the congas. Because of the other things that are going on, you may not be able to hear that properly. So I'm gonna quickly jump back into the Ableton template. I'm gonna switch on to solos. I'm gonna push solo on number one. I'm going to shift back into machine and we're going to solo the congas. There's something really nice going on with these congas, you know. I tell you what it is, you can hear some reverb going over them and that's over the whole group, okay? So all those conga sounds are going through that reverb. But what I also did was at the sound level, I applied a reverb on this last conga hit. The others, you can see, just don't have that. So you can hear the difference in tone with that last hit. So I really like to do that, put little tiny details in there. For me, that makes a big difference. So what we'll also do is take a look at the drums now. Now this is a, a real interesting collection of sounds in the kit. There's a real vibe to these. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do is I'm going to solo these one by one. So it's a real nice range of textures there. And if we just shift and navigate, we can go and see the programming. And you can see at the moment, the, these are just literally looping. So I haven't actually gone through and worked on any structuring just yet. So they're just running in the background, just providing a beats and percussive background to the music elements. So we're gonna come back onto the live template here, gonna take off solo. Let's take a look at those musical elements and I'm just gonna come back and mute the drums. Let's also take off machine for the moment. Back onto solos. Let's have a look at these chords. So there's the riff in fact, chords over here. take a look at the instance of the M1. Let's come on to the right channel, here we go. So, Electric Piano 2, this is a real classic sound, the sort of sound that in fact Larry Heard might have used back in the day. And you can see my custom chorder preset here, so it's giving the game away. So we've got plus three, plus seven, 
plus 10 and plus 14 semitones to create the chord. So that's working really nicely there. And I'm going to show you a little trick here as well. You see the instance next door to that. Now this is another M1 instance. So it's a different patch, but you can hear musically it's a bit different. And that's because on the far left hand side I've used a MIDI device pitch and I've just taken the whole chord sequence up five semitones. So it's transposed up, it creates a real extra level of tension on there. I really like that. Electric piano once again. Same patch as the other one, but panned a little bit differently. You can see that over here, so they're panned at opposite sides. Let's bring this one back as well. So the fact that they're panned differently gives them a little bit better space in the mix. This is a custom patch that I created, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you. Let's open it up. The key to this is the fact it's one oscillator. Over here, we've fully rotated to the left to turn it into a square wave. This is one of these basic multi kind of waveforms here. So you've got one side which is the square wave, the other one is a saw. Now, if I just take this off and rotate, that's your sawtooth version. But I, like, I wanted it to be a square, you know, it's got that old school analog vibe. And whilst we're talking about analog, I took this down to one voice. So this is monophonic now. Okay, so that's on the envelope. So that's working well. The other thing that I did was to drag this envelope three onto the filter here. So literally what we got is, uh, do you know what, I'll tell you what, let me just do something for you. I'm going to create it from scratch, all right? So it's going to be a bit better to do that. So we're going to duplicate. So let's just take a look. I, in fact, what I want to do, I want to take Massive off. So we've got here, I'm going to rename Base 2 so we can clearly see which is which. And I'm going to load up another instance because I really want you guys to see this properly, all right? So here we go. Uh, there's massive double click so this is loaded so with the same bass line okay so that sounds wrong of course so let's go through the steps I'll tell you what I did I'll backtrack we go back to voicing so we're going to take max polyphony down to one the waveform fully to the left I turned off oscillators two and three took the filter mix control up to the top because I only want to use the top filter and I used a low pass four pop. All right, so the cutoff I think was down here. Let me just have a listen. Just gonna play that. We can't hear much because the filter frequency. Now what I want is for it to be kind of plucky. So what I did was instead of me moving this, I used the filter envelope to modulate the sound. So envelope three is free. You can't see three being used on modulation on any of these sounds. You can see four being used. That's over here for the volume. So onto three, pick it up, drag it onto the first empty slot. And now click and drag up. Problem is, is the frequency is too high. That sounded good. I seem to remember I had it quite low, but instead took the modulation quite high. The other thing I did was to take the filter level all the way up here. That's actually sounding pretty good. I don't remember making many other changes to be honest. Let me just turn the filter 2 off. That's sounding nice. Let me just, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to double check against the other. Maybe my new one's just slightly more 
kind of uh, bright. Let me just reference the uh, cutoff frequency here. So the modulation amount where that places the cutoff frequency at the highest point of the envelope. So that's up here. Let's take a look at the other one. And yeah, look, you can see that. So I could increase this to match. I quite like it with that kind of almost brighter pluck to the front of the sound. So that's the sound. I'm going to save it for you and um, you guys can download it if you're feeling lazy. And um, let's just come back over here, um, take all the solos off. I think I've got some mutes on here as well. So let's bring those sounds back and let's take a listen again. In fact, let's take that second bass off. We don't want to double up. Here we go. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that little look at that. Um, it's been interesting to backtrack on it. You know, literally I was just doing that stuff as I went and um, you know, it's that late night vibe. It seems to have created that Larry Heard kind of thing. It definitely wasn't deliberate. I'm a big fan of his from the back in the day, you know, tracks like What About This Love and um, things like the, the Fingers Inc, of course, Can You Feel It? And all the other amazing pieces of work that he's done over the years. So um, much respect to Larry Heard and um, as usual guys if you have any questions about stuff please uh, give me a shout like i said i will take that preset from massive save it and make it available for you to download as well <laughs>